Prince of Peace. This is our family. I'm Tim. I'm Angie. And I'm Micah. And today we're going to talk to you about Passover. A long time ago, the ruler of Egypt, called Pharaoh, was worried that the Jewish people would one day rise up against him. So he had them work very hard as slaves to keep them busy. The Jewish people did not like being slaves, and they cried out to God for help. So God chose a man named Moses to lead the Jewish people and rescue them from Egypt. But when Moses told Pharaoh to let God's people leave, Pharaoh said no. Then Moses warned him, If you do not listen to God, many terrible things called plagues will happen. But Pharaoh did not want to listen. And so the plagues arrived. Nine different times God showed Pharaoh his power. And after each plague, Moses asked Pharaoh to let God's people go. But Pharaoh kept saying no. Then Moses told Pharaoh that God loves his family so much that he would rescue them with one final plague. And if Pharaoh didn't listen, the last plague would wipe out the firstborn son in every house in Egypt. But God had a special plan to protect his people, and he sent Moses to tell them. God told the Israelites to sacrifice a perfect lamb, one for each household, and to paint its blood on the door frame of their house. Then they should get ready to leave Egypt. They should cook the lamb and eat it with bitter herbs and flatbread made without yeast called unleavened bread, which could be made quickly. And God told them to eat with their shoes on and their walking sticks in hand, getting ready to leave. That very night, the angel of death came and many Egyptians died. But just like God promised, the angel of death passed over the houses with the lamb's blood on the door. And that is when Pharaoh realized God was in control. So he told the Jewish people to leave Egypt at once, and they did. They were now able to go to the promised land. For many hundreds of years afterwards, God's people remembered the night that God rescued them out of Egypt by eating unleavened bread, bitter herbs, and lamb in the annual celebration that they called Passover, in remembrance of how death had passed over them. But that's not the end of the story. The rescue from Egypt was just a preview to the big rescue that God had planned for the world. You see, about 1,500 years after the Jewish people had left Egypt, Jesus celebrated his last Passover with his disciples. During that meal, he told them that he would become the lamb that would be sacrificed for the whole world, and his sacrifice would be the last sacrifice. Because unlike the lamb that was killed, Jesus would conquer death by raising up on the third day. So just like the Jewish people celebrate Passover, we celebrate Jesus' sacrifice by taking communion. And that is the story of Passover and how it relates to us. All right, Prince of Peace, please put your hands together and join me in prayer. Heavenly Father, Heavenly, Heavenly Father, Father, thank you so much. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. For Jesus, your Passover lamb. For, for Jesus, Jesus, your Passover, Passover lamb. And for giving our sins through him. And, and forgiving our, our sins through him. Help us to live our life for you. Help us to live our life for you. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Bye, Bye Prince of Peace.